Let's get glam. What is up, my little assassins? Today I am bringing you this um, pink eye look, pink and purple look. Um, we're going to start off with the eyebrows, like always. I cut it down and only show you how I do one of my eyebrows because it's pretty much just the same thing. I'm using the NYX Micro Pencil. So, it's a really good pencil. I really, really love it. Um, it's amazing. Especially when I wrap my brows to look a little more natural and not so dark. So here I'm just outlining the bottom and the top, filling it in, making them look all pretty. Just the usual, you guys know the drill. Filling in all the sparse spaces. I go in a little further than what I normally would because I go ahead and clean it up with a spoolie. But that's pretty much all I do, just go ahead and pencil it in, clean it up with the spoolie, soften it with the spoolie, not clean it up. And then just continue from there on. I'm going to be using this Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette and I'm using this brown color. Um, I don't know if you can really tell the color, the name of the color, but I'm using this um, fluffy brush just to put it into my crease just to give it some sort of definition. Also, I use it as a translucent color. It doesn't show up a lot, but try to darken it with that other color. But in the end, it's just really like a light wash of color. I bring it all the way to my corner, from my inner corner to my outward corner, I mean my outside corner. And then I'm going to go in with this purple color, and I'm also going to pop that into my crease with another fluffy brush. I'm dipping that in twice because, I don't know. But I'm just working my way up with the color. I'm not going in right away with a lot of color because these shadows are a little bit pigmented, a little really pigmented. So I'm just building up the color. I'm going in with this, um, it looks blue on the screen, but if you look at it up close, it is like a darker blue, I mean a darker purple. It does have a lot of blue undertones, which could be why it looks blue. Um, I'm using these loose pigments by uh, Jay Wesley, I believe. It's the name, and I'm just going over just to make the purple pop a little more. Um, it was a little too shimmery for me, so I had to bring it down here I am using my LA girl pro concealer in cool tan um, I'm using this to carve out the top and the bottom of my brows which is um, a good tip I guess just to kind of clean it up if you did mess up you know you kind of get the right shape that you're looking for um, it's one of my favorite things to do when I do my brows whether it's with a pencil or a pomade or even um, powder I love this I love this little trick I'm using a flat concealer brush it's a smaller concealer brush I usually just use it to kind of make sure I get in a, a nice cut I don't know if that's the right word but just to kind of make sure um, it's all well distributed throughout the top and the bottom of my brows with this I can get closer to my eyebrow as well um, after that I go in with a mini beauty blender just to kind of blur everything out that way you don't have any sharp edges or anything like that um, I'm gonna set the foundation I mean not the foundation the concealer with the makeup forever ultra HD translucent powder I love this powder to set my brows I don't use it under my eyebrows or I mean under my eyes or anything because it does do flashback on me. I don't know if it's on anybody else, but on me it does. You can really tell right here I had a, um, a mini ring light and you can really tell that even though I blend it out, you can see that that powder is all over my face. I'm using a big powder brush right now just to brush off any excess and like I said, you can still see it <clears throat> underneath. Um, I'm gonna go ahead right now with some scotch tape just to make sure I have a, a nice little cut uh, for my eyeshadow. Ooh, I'm sneezing in the middle of the video, but whatever. 
Now I'm going back in with my same concealer. I'm going to do a cut crease. I usually do this trick where I can put it toward my um, lash line and then just look up and it'll transfer. I don't know if I didn't add enough or if this concealer just isn't wet enough. But I'm just going ahead and cutting the whole thing. I don't know why I did a full cut crease because you're going to be able to see later on in the video. Um, I did add a little of the darker purple to the outside crease to the outside corner so I could have just stayed at, at a half crease but it's it's whatever you live and you learn so <laughs> you guys can go ahead and just do a half cut crease it doesn't have to be a full cut crease unless you want to omit that purple on the corner and just do a full uh, pink lid I'm going in with a little bit more of concealer on my brush just to clean out the edges just so I can get a crisp edge I do like a very crispy crispy edge so you can see um, I take my time on this I suggest you take your time especially if it's you know your first time this is probably like my second or third time I do a cut crease so I really like to take my time once I'm a pro at this I'm sure I won't be taking so much time but just work on it um, it will make a world of a difference when you work on the crispiness of the cut <clears throat> Um, so I guess we are done now and I'm going in with this flat shader brush. It's a dense, uh, it says on here it's a smudge brush. Oh, yes. Sorry. This is my smudge brush. I'm going to go in with the purple and kind of try to darken up the crease. Just ever so slightly. You don't want to go onto the concealer. You just want to stay above it. Just so it's more of a, like you can tell, like where the purple ends and where the pink is going to begin. So... Now I'm itching myself, I guess. Um, I'm going uh, in with this and um, Wet and Wild flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and use this, uh, like I said, this dark color and then that pink color. Uh, that purple color has a little bit of red undertone, which is why I liked it a little. But this is what I was talking about. I went into that um, outer corner, so I didn't really need. To cut the crease but I guess this is just an option you can do a full-blown pink lid if you wanted to instead of that purple um, that reddish purple that I did on the corner now I'm just packing on that pink as you can tell just packing it until you get the color payout that you're looking for you can do it very lightly and just make it a wash of pink you don't have to use such a bright color if you don't like to if you don't want to but um i'm just grabbing a little with my finger it does have a bit of it a little bit of um glitter so i'm just going ahead with my finger and just dabbing it on there so i get a little more payoff and then i'm taking that same brush that i used for the pigment and just working that corner and just so it looks like it goes with the rest of the eye um, as I was looking at it up close when I was doing that pink color, it kind of looked like it didn't belong. So adding that uh, purple on top just kind of made it pop. It made the corner a tad bit darker than the rest of the eye, but it still made it look like it went with the whole look. Right now, I'm just blending everything to make, you know, all the colors go along seamlessly. You just want to continue blending until everything has been seamlessly and um, you can't have, you don't have any harsh lines. Now, I'm going to go in with this small uh, brush, and I'm going in with this highlight color from the palette. Um, I'm not sure on the names, but I'm just grabbing a little, and I'm just going to plop it in the middle of my eye. You do want to put this um, as much as you like. As you can put it down as pigmented as you want. Um, I actually went on off camera when I did the second eye. And put in a little more because I just wanted it to be brighter. It gives the illusion of a halo eye. I'm going to take this flat top and that same highlight and I'm going to go ahead and highlight my brow bone. I've kept the same highlight throughout the, the eyes, the inner corner, the brows and everything. Just because I, A, I really, really like this color. And B, I just wanted everything to be um, fluent. I go ahead again with the fluffy brush and just blend them together, the bottom of the highlight and the top of that purple, just so you don't have any harsh lines when it comes to uh, the two different areas of the eye. 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape. Um, as you can see, the line is very crisp and it was just the look I was going for. I don't use the tape all the time. It depends on the look. You can tell I'm feeling myself. I don't know why I do this. Um, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. Uh, Poreless Primer. We're gonna use that all over the face. Um, I love this primer. It does have a weird smell to it. To me, it smells kind of like fix, but that's just me. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and rub this all over my face. Um, really work it into my T-zone because I do have very oily skin. So I'm just working that into my skin. I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty Foundation Pro um, in the color 360. I'm just gonna do two pumps, I believe. Two to three pumps. And that should be enough for my whole face. I know I got a big face, but that should be enough. I'm gonna go ahead with, um, dab it on with my fingers. If I get to that part, I'm thinking about it too much. But um, there goes my fingers putting it all over my big old face. I like to um, add a wee bit more to my chin. See, there goes that last third pump. And then I'm just gonna work it all over. So I'm just continuing to put that on. I put it under my chin just because I wanna blend it down. You never want that mask going on. And I'm using um, a beauty blender to bounce it onto my face. Um, I've never used, I've never really been a beauty blender girl. My tongue just got stuck. A beauty blender girl until my niece got here. She got me onto beauty blenders, so I'm using that. I'm going back onto the same concealer, the Cool Tan LA Girl. Uh, I'm just going to put that under my eye as an under, light, under eye highlight. I'm so sorry, girls. I cannot talk today for the life of me. I'm going back in with the mini beauty blender and just gonna go go to town on it just make sure it's all blended out and then I'm gonna take my air spun in the translucent and just with that same mini beauty blender I'm just gonna go ahead and set my under eyes not a lot because I um, I did this I did this mistake for my wedding day I went a little too crazy with the air spun and when we were taking pictures you can tell it was there um, it looked like a little ghost hanging out underneath um, my eyes and you know just my my t-zone and everything so I'm just going to go ahead and with the beauty blender just kind of push it onto my face just so it doesn't sit just on the surface and um, yeah we'll continue on to the next step Now I'm taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in Nutmeg, I think it is, I believe so. Now I'm going to contour with this, I'm going to do my nose, and then I'm going to do my cheeks and my jawline. I don't do my forehead because I don't feel like I have a big forehead, I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments below if I should start contouring my forehead as well. Um, and then I'm just going to go in with a beauty blender and just blend it out. Um, I don't really use setting powder for my contour. I just go ahead and set it with my face powder, as you'll see in the next clip. Um, but that's about it. Now, as you can see here, I'm just blending out my contour. I do my cheeks, my jawline. I do my bottom lip just so it looks a little bit plumper. My nose, um, I'm still working on my nose. I'm still fairly new to contouring. I have never been a contour girl, so as of right now, yeah. Um, I'm gonna set my face with Fenty Beauty's um, powder, setting powder in nutmeg, and I'm just going over my contour first and then taking it over the rest of my face. I really like this powder. It makes my face feel velvety. I don't look oily, I don't feel oily, so I'm going in with my air spun just like that, no uh, concealer, and just going to highlight my forehead, my the bridge of my nose, and then um, I believe my chin is what I highlight, yes I do, and then that's it, I don't like going in with a concealer to highlight those places because I just feel like it sits on top of my skin and it makes me look weird. 
so um, I'm taking this other fluffy brush and I'm just dusting off extra um, air spun powder and just face powder and I'm wiping it down on a little towel that I usually have by me just to get any excess product off the brush. I'm going in with a little extra air spun on my smile line just so it doesn't crease. I haven't had this foundation crease the times that I wore it, but just a safe bet. You can tell I'm feeling myself throughout this whole video. Um, I'm going in with the e.l.f. Uh, blush brush and just using these two colors. This little trio is from Sleek. I got it in a Christmas set. I'm not sure of the name, but I'm using those two colors. It comes with a highlighter. Um, but I use it as a blush because I just love the color. And it's just a wash of color. I'm going back in with that purple with the, I believe it's a smudge brush that I use again. And I'm just going to put place that under my eye. I'm just bringing the top colors to the bottom. That is all I am doing. Um, once I go in with the purple, I'm going to go in with a fluffier angle brush. It is smaller and I'm just going to blend it out a little just so it doesn't look so harsh under the eye it looks like I'm bringing it all the way in but I'm more so bringing it a little past halfway just because I want it to be there to blend when I bring down the pink and do the same thing with the pink color I'm bringing it down just to the um, bottom I'm blending it in with that purple I'm doing very little because I don't want the bottom to be so so bright but you want to bring those top colors down just to make the whole eye look look complete Then I'm going back in with that highlight and that bottom highlight I dab very little into that other color just because it's more brown and I want to stay with the same um, like cool tones I guess um, so I'm putting that onto my inner corner, making sure that inner corner looks brightening. I'm using um, the same brush that I used for my brow bone just to kind of blend it out and put it in the spots that I needed to because um, this small little uh, brush doesn't really get where I want it to be. It's more fluffy, so it doesn't sit exactly where I want it to. Like I said, you can tell I'm feeling myself. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use this Lancome uh, it's like an eyelash primer I'm just gonna put it on before I put some mascara on while I put this on I usually just prime my lashes I will show you guys the lashes that I'm using in a second oh I'm not gonna do lashes yet I am showing you guys my elf um, liner I'm just gonna do a quick wing not nothing too extravagant just something nice to bring the eye look together you could have left it just like that if you wanted to you didn't have a wing I think it looks gorgeous without a wing liner but I personally like wing liner so that was it uh, these are the lashes I'm using they're full minks they're a double eight I mean a double zero eight I'm using the Ardell lash grip glue and I'm just gonna go ahead and prep them uh, put the glue in, let it sit for a second before I plop those bad boys in. I am in love with those lashes. They are so big, so fluffy. They are amazing. usually just blow on them but we're gonna move on to mascara I'm using the benefit the real uh, mascara just to plop it onto my lashes um, I don't usually do mascara before lashes I don't really like to put mascara onto my lashes but whatever um, I'm gonna plop on these lashes now I use some tweezers I use the hub of tweezers which was something my niece taught me how to do and I make sure I pop the middle of them first before I start doing the outer corners. But 
these bad boys are amazing i'm in love with these lashes you can tell they add a little bit of drama um, i go ahead and take my eyelash curler i know my mirror is in the way but i'm just curling it till my lashes kind of go into the fake lashes and it also lifts them a little more because i don't know what it is but when i wear the lashes i put them on myself and i don't curl them i feel like i constantly see that shadow of lashes and it drives me crazy so we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye and that should be it I like to use like the bottom of my tweezer just to kind of make sure I push the lashes into it. I'm gonna repeat the process, go ahead and curl my lashes onto the falsies and everything should be fine. Um, I'm just going ahead, they don't fit into my eyelash color, but I'm just going ahead I making sure that I curl my lashes as well because my lashes are a little crazy sometimes. But I'm going ahead and just kind of pushing them up, lifting the lash. And that's about it. Um, I'm going to move my Glow Kit by Anastasia. I'm going to use those two bottom colors together on a Morphe. Uh, can't remember the number of that Morphe brush, but it's just a highlight brush. And I'm going to go ahead and do my highlight. I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, um, the top of my brow bone, uh, my bridge, my nose. I do uh, put a little on my top lip. I feel like I went a little overboard, so if you see a highlighting mustache, don't say anything. I also do a little bit, just a very tiny bit, just whatever's left over on my brush on my um, chin, just to kind of make it a little bright. And that's about it. Oh, I must have not showed the uh, highlight. But I'm going to go ahead and use the Kylie Lipstick in Boy Bye. Just, it's a really pretty like mauve color. I wanted to stay on a neutral tone for the lips just so that the eyes were the main focus. But I went ahead and used a bright pink color after this. And let me tell you, it looks just as amazing. So this is the final result. This is what it looks like after I'm feeling myself. Um, I'm fixing myself, fixing my hair, obviously. But yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys recreate this look. Tag me on Instagram. Comment down below your IG names. I will follow the first 10 people that comment on this um, video. So I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye, girlies. <laughs>